Hi, this is Dr. Ray Tayari. Welcome to another SOLIDWORKS tutorial. In this tutorial, we uh, cover design table, which is very important feature in SOLIDWORKS. So imagine that you want to uh, make a component like this, this is a socket, and then of course you want to make several different sizes. And these sizes, they all have similar geometry with different uh, sizes. So instead of making one by one, you can make one, and by creating a relation between sizes, you can create the other one automatically. Let's go uh, to make a new part. Front plane. Okay. And make a circle. Give the dimension to circle. Make it 100. And of course, this is a constant value. If you double click on it, and you bring this one down here and you go add, uh, sorry, a link value. You can create a value here. Value is a variable. I call it size, which represents the size of um, my shape. And right away you see this kind of infinity uh, sign next to it. So this would be my design criteria, number one uh, parameter. And everything else evolves around it. So make it extrude. Make it 100. So this is the extrusion here I have. If I click on here, you see the size here is 100. I double click on it. And now instead of uh, adding 100, I add an equation. My equation is this size is equal to this size here. So I click on this button and whatever I define as a variable, it comes here. I have only one so far. So this extrusion uh, height is equal to size. Okay, so uh, let's go to uh, this plane and make a polygon. Uh, make this line to be horizontal. Then you go and give dimension to this. So dimension would be 40. I can write 40 for this particular one. Or I can click on here. And I add again an equation. My equation is whatever my size is, which is the diameter of my initial circle, 40% of that. Multiply by 40%. And I select the size. And for this particular one, it's 40. And as soon as I make this connection, this sigma size sign comes here. So done with this, you go to extruded. Here, 100. So, of course, I have to change that one too. So, I click on this uh, height of the second extrusion, add another one, and in this case, I put 0.7 multiply by the size. There we go. So, it become 0.7 uh, of 100, which is 70. Let's make another. Um, polygon here uh, make this one to be completely vertical and in that case again I define a size and this is the size so this is my size and uh, here again I define that add equation equation is 0.4 multiply by my size and here what I get so next thing is I do another extrude and again it's 100 so I have to change that one as well and I can go here click on it add equation my equation is 0.7 multiply and do 0.7 multiply by the size and here's done uh, Next thing, I want to make a cut here. So make a simple square shape here. Make a 30 and here make a 30. This is a constant. And now I go a cut. And here I use cut up to the surface and I use this surface and here is done. Let's add a couple of uh, fillets. So I use fillet here. This is 10. 
Now in this case, I want to also the fillet I create, uh, I want to change by uh, the size. So here, uh, let me just select fillet here. This is the radius of the fillet. And here I give a value here, it's called fillet. So the next one, this fillet here, I click on here, fillet. So I call this fillet, which is 10, double click on this 10 here, and I call this one half of, add the equation here, half of the previous one. So top fillet is twice uh, the radius is as the bottom one, so multiply by fillet. And I can even add fillet here. So here and here. So this is my fillet. Well, actually, let me just go back here. Uh, this is not what I want. I want to select only the edge. Just delete this one here. Use fillet. You have to be careful. I want to use only the edges here. Not bottom edges here and here. So here is my fillet. So obviously it's way too big. So it's 10. So I do here and here add equation and I make it 0 0.2 multiply by my initial top fillet. So it's much smaller here. Okay, this is the geometry I made. Now, in order to create that design table, I go to insert, you go to table, design table, and you go to auto, click on it. Uh, first of all, you have to realize what I have here is I have a radius, which is the size, and something is happening here. Uh, let's see. The program is busy. I don't know. Let's try again. Okay. Mm, I don't know what was that. Okay. So now these are the size. So first the size is this. I have these two sizes, which are 30 and 30 for the bottom hole, and this is the fillet. I select them all. It comes here. So you can see that related to this, we have these values I can change as a variable. So, this is done. Then if you want to see what you have done, you go here to Configuration Manager, you go Design Table, right click, and edit the table. So there are other uh, related sizes that has to be extracted here. And these are the one. Uh, there we go here. So I had all these extrude and sizes here. And it this one as well and I actually add color as well so I bring them all here if you uh, make it bigger it looks like this so this is the first one now if I want to change things I call it for example uh, let's call it 9 and 8 and 7 6 and 5 and 4 and then of course for the size I make the initial size minus 10 each time is going to be a little smaller drag it here it's done uh, in terms of my fillet so each time I go lower I make it less by one millimeter so then here so the rest are related to these values maybe I change also the color here not that it's important Call it maybe 10,000 and this value is equal to 10,000 plus. Okay. This gives a different shade. There we go. And done. So it asks you, I want to generate these one, and I say yes. So I generate them all here. So this is the main one. This is the next one. Slightly different, well, smaller, and this is smaller, smaller, and smaller. Now, let's go to the bottom here. You see, for the last two, because I keep these two sizes constant, so it seems it's out of proportion. For example, this one, it actually makes it 
uh, like this I will say don't rebuild and looks like this so obviously this is wrong I have to modify that so you can simply do the modification here you go to uh, right click on design table and all I need to do is for the last one the last two actually I can make uh, some modification here and it actually is imported all these values here so you see this is completed these are the values here. These are the ones that I have to change. So I make this one 20 by 20 and here 20 and 20. So the rest, you see the relations are here. So it was 100 and this size, which is the depth of the, the height of the uh, socket is equal to this. This is 70% of it for the first cut inside and the second. And then uh, the second, the bottom fillet is half of the top one. And this is for the fillet around the square on the bottom. And this is the size of the square. For last two, I made a 20. And these are the actual size of the polygon I made. So this is very handy feature. So I select and see now I already fixed these values here. This one is fixed. So I, this one is fixed. So as you can see that this is very uh, important and a useful feature uh, in SolidWorks. And this uh, concludes our uh, today's tutorial. Thank you.